Welcome to Factorio Release. My name is Nilaus and this is a very fast and quick version of uh, let's look at the Spidertron because it's pretty damn fun and we've been joking about whether it would be part of this release or not but uh, here it is and it's uh, it's going to be super fun to play with that. Uh, let's go through some of the things that it can do just to give you a quick update on what it can do, how it works and we're going to test a few things out. So the first thing the first research is the Spidertron research. It's expensive, but it's not like super expensive or anything. It comes like at the end, rocket control units, military four and portable fusion reactor. So nothing fancy, but it's definitely the end game. If we compare it to artillery, for example, then it's kind of same tier. This takes 2000, but the Spidertron takes two and a half thousand. And the way it works, it's a remote control unit. So you need a controller as well. Let's go out. You have a controller here. You can see I have two controllers. One is disabled, one is enabled. So the enabled one is linked the way it works. If I grab another Spidertron here, yep, we got a few. I'm gonna put it down. And now I can't move this one, but if I take the other controller, click on it, now it's enabled. And then now I can control it. Works really nice. And uh, let's have a look at the armament. So it has four rocket launchers that uh, shoot pretty quickly and it shoots automatically. Has a nice trunk, has a nice grid. This is really nice that it has a, a logistics grid that means you can send it around to defend, attack and build outposts. That's pretty damn amazing. I, I'm really looking forward to that. And you can call it, you can name it after patrons. I'm just gonna call it the Nidastron. There we go. Oh, and the coloring. Thank you. I was kind of worried that there would be no coloring. So we got a purple Spidertron. So let's see. First things first, we wanted to test what it can do with some rockets. Let's give it some rockets and then send it out. And I need to use the right controller. Ah, see this one actually, ah, look at that. It turns purple, the controller. That's a really nice little crisping and even a red one. So I've made some biters up here ready for slaughter and we're going to send it out. Let's just have a look. And it looks absolutely awesome this way. It shoots it's so cool. Now it does seem to be able to be getting, it, it can get overwhelmed, but you know, it's, it looks like it can handle its own, at least against these spiders. Now I have some pretty good robots that will come out and repair, but as you can see, it works pretty efficiently at clearing things. They don't really seem to get too close. It can also move over things. So let's uh, move back. Let's see if we just walk over them. If we just walk over some of my buildings, it just doesn't care. Uh, it should also be work, able to work on shallow water. This is a new doodad as well. <clears throat> and uh, we'll, we'll see that just in a second, I guess. Let's look at how it works. It probably can walk on the shallow water. Uh, it doesn't want to go any further out there, so it can sort of work. Uh, it's interesting the way it kind of works. So that's uh, some part of the attacking, but it gets better or worse than that. And this is this is bound to go wrong. So uh, we'll send another one in. We'll send this one in. It doesn't have a name yet. Yep, what could possibly go wrong? And that should be linked by this one. Yes, so this one is going up here. And this is now armed with, with nuclear missiles, because of course that makes sense to have a, an automated nuclear launch platform. Hmm, why is it not shooting? Hmm, did get that before, didn't we? Oh, there we go. Yeah, so as you, um. I don't think it's a good move to put nuclear rockets on it. I mean, it's super fun, but it's not really sustainable, to be honest. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> I think we'll make do with our purple one instead in terms of this, but it gets uh, better than that. Like just walking in here, just, I really like the fact that rockets are now going to be a bit more useful because then this one will be using rockets. It also seems to be pretty good at clearing space. So let's go back, but it gets better than that. Let's uh, let's build a chest that we can manipulate. One of these chests, I'm using editor extended to generate what I want. 
So it says that it has a grid so we can actually have it build stuff for us. What that would be, that could be, we're just going to make sort of what the things that we think that it'll need. It'll need some personal robot ports. It will need some legs. I don't know if that works. We'll try if, if the legs work. And it'll definitely need some batteries. Yes, and it'll need some here. And belt immunity, don't think that makes sense. Uh, Energy Shields Mark II, we'll get some of those. And we'll also make see if it also works with point defense lasers. Discharge, I don't really feel that is useful. Ah, interesting, there's a computer built here. A computer that doesn't do anything. Infinity. Right, so now we have uh, various sorts of things that we can put in. I put it in here. Put it on a grid, boom. Let's see what we can do. Let's uh, see if the legs actually work. Hmm, do you think that's faster? Yeah, it's definitely fa Oh, why did you shoot there? That was a biter, I guess. Okay, so I think that works as well. And then we need some rubber ports. One. Don't need these two, but I think I'd like one more. That. Are they working? Yeah, they are working. Good. And let's get some. This I want to. We need to test to see if this is working. Yeah. And also the point defense lasers. Yep, it works. So this is working. We're gonna test some lasers, personal laser defense. It can't be having this much, so I don't think it'll use it for laser defense. That's not really enough. We'll uh, we'll test it, and the way we'll test it is by taking this, take this out. We can build it down here. Then it shouldn't be firing, and then we'll see if the point defense lasers are actually working. And we'll do that by having some biters, biter nests out here. And we'll take our little friend. See if it fires some lasers. It does. Excellent. So it fires lasers. That I means that works. It's probably really good to take uh, some close range. Okay, so that's working. Then I want to see if it works with the robots. We have some robots here. And the thing is, if I look at my robot port, network so i'm gonna need to move it further away it's coming and the good thing is it should have well it does say that it has a radar around it and because it only has two of these oh look at that the map the map icon is a little spider as well nice and let's see these ones are here grid i don't want this part but i will want that one Yes, so they can each take 25, so that should be something. Let's uh, see if the grid here got bigger, and we do deconstruction. Yeah, that doesn't seem to work the way I feel that it should. I really feel that these robots, maybe we just need some ordinary robots. Oh, there you go. Ordinary robots work. I think I just clicked the other ones away. Yeah, I did. So, they work. And if I clear out like, tons of forest and then have this one just walk around, walk over here, then it will do both of them at the same time. If I put some items in here, such as the stuff we could build, uh, what do we want to build? We'll build some rails. And then let's get some rail blueprints. We do have those. Let's see if we can build those and then see if they actually want to build some of the. Yes, they do. If we did that one in, that one, and some robot ports as well. Then we can actually have this little fella rocking around, defending itself if needed. 
and building our city blocks and our entire thing. That seems really good. I guess we're going to build that really quickly in our death world base. That's for sure. So I think that basically shows the highlights of the spider Oh yeah. The one more thing is you can, you can get as many of them as you like. It seems, yep. But each one will have a different uh, remote. So you're also going to need a lot of remotes to sort of link them together. Uh, I guess that there will be mods that will do this for us at some point. And that kind of becomes a bit cumbersome if you want to select multiple. But I think it's totally fine that it uh, works like that. I don't think I want so many of those. Let's get that one back and let's just have them fire some shots off here. And actually, I don't want this. I will go with our little purple one, purple friend up here. He's building stuff and somehow I lose that. Oh, what if I build one? Can I then just, yeah, okay. I can just uh, find another one if I, if I lose the remote, then I can just charge, take another one and link it to that one. That's pretty damn good. And we're just gonna go one more try with some fighters and around here. First, get that one in. Make sure we have enough. Here we go in, make some biter nests. Maybe we'll out here. Because that's going to be the main point of this. It's going to be shooting that one there. That's interesting. How that. I was expecting that we would break it. We would be able to break it at some point. So walking into the rockets is probably not the best idea. What if you can just. Can you just walk on top of them? Does it also have collision? Huh, actually maybe it doesn't. Let's try that. Let's see if it if if it just can walk on top of them without it hurting or not. Okay, so there's no collision. It does need to actually shoot stuff. And the you can see here we have the That's an excellent addition. I don't know how it fares against the, the bigger Spiders, but a bee with spider. We'll, we'll see. So there you have it. That's the spider drone. Pretty damn awesome, right? I'm so looking forward to trying it, and we're definitely going to do that in our death world. So look forward to the death world on the other side of the weekend, and also the new series coming up, and of course, streaming all weekend. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys online or here on YouTube. Take care and stay effective.